The duel on the desert planet of Tatooine between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Maul in the Rebels series is one of the most popular in all of Star Wars. It's so vastly different than any other duel that we've seen before, especially between Kenobi and Maul. Previously, every fight they've engaged in has been flashy, with each opponent trying anything they can do to either evade the other or kill their opponent. This duel, though, is so much different. The two combatants know each other so well. Maul has been the predator hunting down Kenobi for literally decades now. It has been Maul's only goal to seek revenge on Kenobi. But this Kenobi that we see is far different than the Kenobi that we encounter in Revenge of the Sith and the Clone Wars. This is an Obi-Wan at peace. He's far more interested in trying to speak with Maul about their confrontations of the past than engaging in yet another one. However, once Luke Skywalker is threatened, the last hope of the Jedi and perhaps the galaxy, Obi-Wan ignites his blade, ready to confront Maul for one last time, realizing that he is beyond reason and beyond help. The duel does not last long, with the majority of it the two opponents posturing at one another, cycling through various lightsaber forms, lightsaber forms that they've used against one another, and lightsaber forms that they know well. However, Obi-Wan has evolved, he's become wiser, even telling Maul earlier, look what I have risen above. In the end, Maul attempts to use the same maneuver that he used decades earlier on Obi-Wan's master, Qui-Gon Jinn. This time, though, Obi-Wan is ready, and instead is able to strike down the fallen Sith Lord. Dave Filoni recently came out and explained this final scene between Obi-Wan and Maul, and why Darth Maul's death is so tragic. As Maul is within Obi-Wan's arms, he asks Kenobi if he is the Chosen One, in reference to Luke Skywalker, to which Obi-Wan responds that he is. The last the last thing on Maul's mind is revenge, not revenge against Kenobi, but revenge against Sidious. Sidious for casting him aside and for diminishing his role in the grand plan of the Sith. Dave Filoni had this to say about the final moments of Maul's life, and why it is so tragic, and why Obi-Wan feels nothing but pity for Maul in this moment. In the end, what's most important is that Maul never lets go of his attitude of revenge. He never seeks forgiveness. He never seeks selflessness. He is bent on, okay, good, at least I'll die knowing I'm going to have my revenge. And Obi-Wan just looks at him and shakes his head gently because he feels sorry for Maul. This goes along with the big idea that we've discussed several times on the channel, that Maul was legitimately given a second chance on life, but he again let his previous life consume it, consumed with the idea of getting revenge. He's been obsessed with getting revenge on Kenobi for so long because he believes that to be the more attainable goal, as he never thinks that he'll be able to successfully get revenge against Sidious, the person that he truly wants revenge against. And it's only at the end, the idea that his revenge is going to be fulfilled that Maul finds some sense of peace, which Obi-Wan only finds as more tragic. I do have a video planned for later this week of Dave Filoni talking more about the character of Maul, but I wanted to make one that highlighted his final moment and how Kenobi has risen and evolved while Maul has stayed stagnant and paid the price for it. But now I would love to hear your thoughts on it, and what were your thoughts when Maul met his final fate on the planet of Tatooine? According to my analytics, a lot of you guys that watch the channel aren't actually subscribed yet. So if you're a fan of Star Wars and want to keep up to date on everything lore and news related, you found the right place. And don't forget to force choke that subscribe button. As always, my friends, may the force be with you and have a great day.